Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and we've got Evacuation Point, Suicidal, Commando. I, I meant to do Gunslinger, but we're doing Commando. You know, this is the first map that I played on with the uh, the M99 from the Sharpshooter. It was the first time I ever, I ever used it. It was actually relatively recently, too. Like, uh, around the time that I first tried out Sharpshooter was when I... Uh, First tried the uh, the M99 on this map in this uh, in this series, so I don't know, a couple months ago or something like that. I remember uh, I camped up. Uh, I'll show you when we get there. I'll show you. I'll walk on up there. Uh, the, the bash on the uh, the AR-15 is just kind of funky. It's a little bit a little bit funky to me. Oops, I meant to hit the, uh... I meant to hit the, the railing, but kind of failed it. So, we camped up here. We had, uh... My memory is freakishly good, by the way. Kind of, like, I say freakishly because it actually does freak people out at times. But we had, um... This was like two months ago in just some random game that I played on, and uh, I can just remember it. So we had a, a Berserker, who was kind of like handling all of the back spawns. And then we had, uh, goodness, I can't even get to the place where I was camping. Please, I wish to, to continue my story. So I was playing as the uh, the sharpshooter, and I was camping with these the other way. Right here. Killing all the stuff that came up there. We had a uh, Berserker handling the back zone, uh, spawns. We had a Gunslinger up there. And then we had a, uh, I believe, Field Medic and Commando uh, over here. And it was... Uh... That's just, a, you know, you gotta do the slow-mo when he's falling like that, right? It was, uh, it was a good time, and uh, it was when I learned that Sharpshooter is actually pretty fun. Then I, I don't really play Sharpshooter anymore because Gunslinger is just better Sharpshooter. So, but it was, uh, it, was it was good fun to, to have those scrapes coming up and just BOP! Dead. <laughs> it was really, it was really fun. Previously I'd used the, uh, the Railgun and... Uh, like cro uh, crossbow and and whatnot. I had not used the M99. So it was kind of a newer weapon when I came back. So I uh, I quit for a while because that's what I was talking about in a recent episode where I uh, I like lose the motivation to play it. Um, I quit for a while and then I'll eventually be like, you know, I want to play some Killing Floor. And I go back and I play some more Killing Floor. Uh, and that time when I came back, uh, previously the M99, I don't think it existed, or at least I never used it. So I don't think it existed because there's no way I wouldn't have used it, or at least tried it out previously. But who knows, man? You know, it's uh, I've always had Path of Exile being my most played game on Steam, and it says that on my website. It's one of the uh, the daily fun facts about me, which I have to go and write like another like 300 daily fun facts to randomize because it keeps getting like the same like I don't know eight or something. Um. The thing that, so, anyway, Path of Exile has always been my most played game with, like, I don't know, 4,000 hours in it or something. Killing Floor 2 is, uh, is probably gonna overtake that at some point, right? If I do, I don't know, probably four or five hours of, uh, of time a week, every week for, you know, a year, that's, well, it's only 200 hours. So in, in, like, a mere 20 years, as long as I don't play Path of Exile again, which I definitely will in a mere 20 years I'll, uh, I'll overtake Path of Exile but I also play uh, Killing Floor 2 a little bit off camera whenever whenever uh, people want me to I still tell people to like buy the game because it's still a fantastic game and I'm still like yeah buy it and I'll play it with you like anytime you know it's, uh... so there's this uh, tabletop simulator right it's a fantastic game, but you can only play it with people. You can't you can't play tabletop simulator by yourself because you just you you're gonna you're gonna what you're gonna go play Monopoly, and it's just gonna be you like nah, get out of here. 
And maybe you do, and uh, if you do, you know, more power to you. I, personally, not super into it. So, I, uh, I often buy my friends Tabletop Simulator because to me, it's not really buying them Tabletop Simulator, it's buying me Tabletop Simulator because I can't play it by myself. So if I buy it for them and they'll play it with me, <laughs> then that's, you know, if I get like four hours of, uh, really? Can I jump onto this thing? Really? You're going to make me jump that? If I just walked off, I would have taken less damage. But like, really? It's a big fall. Uh, so when I buy my friend's tabletop simulator, it's buying me tabletop simulator again. Because I get to play it again, right? Whereas I didn't get to play it before because, I don't know, everybody who I want to play tabletop simulator with is, uh, is, uh, they just don't like playing tabletop simulator with me. I'm like, I want to play Uno or, or something with people and... Yeah, so I was I was offered to buy it, and they're like, "Oh, I couldn't make you do that." I'm like, "No, really, I I would like to buy it for you so that we can play." And they're like, "Ah, I can't make you go out of your way to do that." I'm like, "I want to, please let me." And uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like sometimes it comes across as like simping for them. I'm like, "I'm not, I'm not simping. I just really want to play Monopoly right now. And if you would play Monopoly with me, then that's that's a a good use of my like I don't know twelve dollars or something." That's that's a, a very acceptable use of, of twelve dollars to play Monopoly. Anyway, they don't let me do it. They rarely they rarely do. They'll be like, no, no, I'll just I'll get it when when I have the money. I'm like, but I really wanna. We both wanna play Monopoly right now. Just please. You never do it though. You always have this. Uh, thing about not wanting to be like a charity, right? And I, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. But at the same time, just let me buy you Tabletop Simulator. Some of my friends have let me buy it, and uh, that was always nice, because uh, we, we got to play Monopoly, or Uno, or something. Some random thing, you know, but it's just, it's, it's, uh, it's fun. I wish, uh, one thing that I, I do wish is I had, uh, more people with decent quality microphones who would want to play, uh, tabletop simulator games with me. Because what I would really like to have is, like, a weekly tabletop simulator, like, stream or something, where we play various board games and, and obscure titles and stuff. Cause that'd be that'd be pretty fun, I think. But I have to have uh, people with which to uh, to do that with, and uh, nobody I know who would be willing to play, you know, Uno or something with me. Um, Dos, whatever. Would. Uh, Nobody that I know has a good enough microphone to, uh, to to play on my channel. Maybe on a Twitch stream it would be fine, but I'd want to also like upload the vods and I don't know. I just I have a I have a minimum level of quality for the microphone, and uh, most people I know like there's there's a minimum level of quality for a microphone to be used for chatting with friends, right? And then there's a there's a an entirely you know it's it's a it's a higher level of of quality that you need to make content that people watch because when you're chatting with friends if I don't hear you I can be like hey yo you kinda broke up there can you can you like just repeat that like a few dozen times for me so that I can understand what you're trying to say and then they'll be like hey yo yeah that's fine and then uh, we end up in like a happy little situation there where everybody oh my god you stupid you stupid secret stalker Oh dear lord, this is too many flesh pounds. And a. My goodness gracious. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, I did not get to shoot. Okay, we're going to. Healing Nade, because I forgot I had these. And uh, see if we can't pull this off. Maybe. Heck yeah, look at that. Look at that grenade. Okay, we're gonna just take a hit. Oh, I kind of wanted to, uh... Kind of wanted to, um, parry it, but... It's fine. It's 
fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not mad. I hear. Do I hear another flesh pound? I feel like I hear another flesh pound. Oh my god. Why are you sending death at me? I mean, I guess their goal is to kill me, so it makes sense that they would send death at me, but... Still, what's with you and your whole existence? See, that'd be kind of cool, but, um... Yeah, there's just... When, when, when I'm talking to a friend... And their microphone sucks. I can I can tell them to repeat themselves and, and get the information that I need. When you're watching a video and the, the audio quality isn't clear, and you can't you can't you can't be like, hey yo, I couldn't hear that, can you repeat yourself? You have to go and like rewind the video and it's a whole thing, right? So uh, for me there's there's just a, a minimum standard of of microphone quality that you need to be making YouTube videos, or at least for me, personally. Um, if you have a bad microphone, then like make YouTube videos. Like, just do it. Even if they're not successful, just do it. It's fine. But for me, my my, uh, my standards are a little bit higher than that. Um, just because I already have a good microphone, and if I'm going to be introducing new stuff, I'd rather just have it at least be up to this good, which isn't that great in the first place anyway. Um, anyway, nobody I know cares about like recording or streaming or anything like that as seriously as I do so they don't have microphones that are good for it they have microphones that are perfectly fine for chatting with friends um, so I could play with them but I couldn't do like a a, a group stream where we uh, kind of have fun playing uh, uno or, or something let's go up here I've never been up here can I yoink this no it's okay that's okay I really want your whole being to be disappeared, okay? Wait, what is what? I, can I not get out over there? Is there no exit over there? Goodness gracious. Deary me. Oh, you. S just a rain of parade of death and despair for me. Right about now is probably a good time to shoot it. Oh, yeah. And we're gonna toss one of them out as well. Not so much a great uh, abomination fight here so far, but I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing fine enough. I wish that would kill them. You know, like if that would, if this nade would be enough to kill those little poops, that'd be great, but it's really not. I don't like the abomination on anything that doesn't have high consistent damage output. If I made those shots that I missed with the, uh, the M203, then we would have been doing, I don't know, we'd probably be like halfway dead at this point. Maybe like three quarters of the way dead, but unfortunately I did miss quite a number of shots, so you gotta live with that, right? Okay, we've got, uh, we've got a couple more nades that we're gonna be able to fire off at him. Hopefully we can hit him in the face with them. That was not how you hit him in the face with him. Yeah, we got this, uh, you guys ever ride a ferry? Like, a, a proper ferry? I love being on the ferry. We got this, I live on a, uh, on an island, Vancouver Island. And, uh, whenever we want to go over to the mainland, which isn't that often, because... Like, why would we have to do that? Um, we have everything over here. Uh, whenever I want to go over to the mainland, we have to uh, hop on a ferry or, like, fly, but that's dumb. Uh, so, I, uh, I ride on a ferry not super often, but definitely, definitely reasonably frequently. And I love the ferries, man. I love, I love, I love boats in general. Like, it's, it's one of, one of the things that's always kind of been a, goodness gracious. One of the things that's always kind of been a, a bit of a dream of mine is, um, like, owning my own boat. Like, uh, a fishing trawler or something, you know, just something to to get around and... Yeah, look at that, that was a good one. Something to get around and, uh, 
be out on the water because I just I love being out on the water. It's so much fun, um, fishing and all that. But uh, boats are fun. I like going up on top and like feeling the wind and the the smell of the uh, the ocean. That that salty. Look at all that money. Look at all that money. Yeah, to me, I just, I just love fairies, and that's, um, that, like, room up there kind of gave me a, a very fairy e feel. I don't know if it is a fairy. Like, I don't pay attention, but it gave me a very fairy e feel. Very shippy feel, you know? Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you like it, if you like and subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I have, I have an itch to get first.